How do you defend yourself against the man with two dildos? He coming in. He Welcome to the Steam Carousel where I buy games and I return them if they shit. And this game is... Shit, it's shit. It's Redeemer. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So as it turns out, I selected normal difficulty instead of hardcore. And then it turns out the game was insanely hard. And what happened there? Oh, what do you think? The game changed difficulty on me without asking. Isn't that funny? The video clearly shows me selecting normal difficulty. But later, two hours later, I, it turned out it, it, ch it changed to hardcore in the settings. And thus my nightmare had begun. Everything was extremely difficult. Probably why I didn't like this game, because it's not a game that handles difficulty well. It's a game that makes you respawn and then you have to kill all the little guys before you get to the big flamethrower guy that killed you in an annoying way. It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like there's a safe environment to, to test out fighting against these enemies and stuff, and it's a very a very annoying type of game if you die repeatedly. So Playing on hardcore definitely not recommended. Maybe just the button doesn't work where you say normal and it just it just doesn't go normal. Or maybe it changed halfway through, even though I think it was already pretty hard from the start. But who could tell? So essentially the worst problem with the game is the glitchiness. The ragdolls behave really weirdly. Most of the time the finishing moves is just him throwing the guy away and then that's it. He just doesn't get up anymore and that's, oh, jeez, I'm dead. I guess I better faint. <laughs> and other times he does an elaborate animation, but instead of that being a good animation, it just c clips him to the position where he's going to be. He, j he, he could potentially like clip like two body lengths around and it's so fucking weird especially in a game where you have to avoid attacks I suppose yes it's very very odd but then again I guess after the animations finish you teleport back I think I'm not even sure either way I I played it for two hours and I thought ah oh, yeah I'm gonna pl keep playing this it's kind of interesting but then as soon as I Loaded it up the next time. I just thought, no, this just no. It just it doesn't feel right. None of this feels right. It's just the controls. They don't feel right to me. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I don't like Hotline Miami type games, where you, well, where you move around with WASD and then you, you use your melee attacks with the mouse and you have to accurately aim them with the mouse buttons. I always hate when you have to do that, and well, I, I don't think this game has that so much, but well, I, I guess you aim guns and that's pretty annoying in this game, but they have very limited ammo so it's not too bad, but then again, the, the shooting is pretty terrible, you, you're not gonna deal reliable damage with guns, it's pretty weird. Hmm. See, the controls with the ba the melee controls and the aiming in general is that you've got basically unlimited mouse movement. That means it can go all over your screen. And then the character has to point to where it is. Hmm. And I guess it would be more convenient if, if it would like... If the mouse would kind of move back towards the center of the character so you can just change direction easily. But then again, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Uh... All right, now I got it. So the issue is that the game changes camera a lot. So wh what does the mouse do when the ca game changes camera? That's the question, right? Because it zooms in and it does like an epic finishing move and then you have no idea where the mouse is, right? And that's the issue. And you wouldn't have that issue if the, the mouse would be like limited to a circle around the player when you don't aim your gun, I guess. If you aim your gun, you don't want it to be limited. But then again, when you start aiming your gun, it, will, it probably would be nice if the mouse would start out near the player, so you actually know where you are. But I might be wrong about this. It's hard to tell. I got WASD plus mouse in my game as well, and it's used for aiming, and I, I might be 
Maybe I just got used to it, but then again, I usually prefer the keyboard version. So it's hard to tell what to do about that. It's hard to tell if I'm being hypocritical here and if the mouse controls are going to be annoying as well. But then again, my game has keyboard controls optionally, so you, you, you'd be fine in Squid Invaders. It'd be good. Yeah, you, you got the choices for mouse or not mouse. Never mind then. This game sucks. I'm, I'm superior game developer. Bam. Limit the, pl the, the mouse to a circle around the player, please. Or give me... Give me non-mouse controls. That would be good too. Well, apparently there's also not a lot of enemy variety. It didn't bother me at the time. What bothers me is how unpolished everything moves. But it also turns out that these... Well, the, the guys that joined me in the Let's Play and the, the spectators were recent and Peter, they, they just told me, oh, it's these enemies again. Is there never going to be any more variety? And I I thought, yeah, I, that, actually, that's already more variety than I had seen all games. So hmm, maybe there is not enough variety, but who could tell? Hmm. So... Another problem is that you've got these, you've got left click and right click, and they're, they both do basically the same thing. It's, it's heavy attack and, and light attack, but they're, they're really not that different. The only thing that's different is that they chain up to do different combos, and that seems like it's a, it's an annoying way to put it, because you got left click, you got right click, and they, they both, they're both just attacks, and you just, alternate through them to get some crazy AOE combos but then you got Q to be your block button and I think that's a weird choice but I guess I could probably have just remapped that I'm more used to mouse 2 being the, the block button but whatever I guess there's just not gonna be enough buttons on a mouse if you're gonna have two attack buttons that are basically similar <laughs> well and I've let me see, what is the, the Steam reviews of this game? What what do they say? I, I don't even know. Yes. I I successfully returned it by the way for seven euros. Wait, seven euros? Oh, I thought it was Oh, it's still on sale, right. Oh, well sale ends in thirty hours. I guess if you want it you should probably go for it, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I mean, there were some redeeming qualities, but I mean, it it looks nice and everything. It just it just the game feel that, that rubbed me the wrong way, and I I don't know what to do about it. I'm just gonna tell you. Well, let me know, let me know what you thought of the game. It, apparently, it's got 70% positive reviews on Steam, which is not great for an indie game because they they normally get up to 80 or 90, but yeah. I guess it's... Mm, I suppose that's a mediocre indie game then, yeah. I don't, I don't think indie games ever get lower than 50%. Well, by the way, if you see those guys... Okay, okay, so the game starts out and you fight guys that you can punch and they get interrupted. And then you fight enemies that have guns and you can punch them and they get interrupted. But then it introduces enemies that that can't be interrupted, and they punch you. But what what gets annoying is when they when they can punch you. Oh no! When when they when they they are armored, so you can't interrupt them with attacks, and they've got guns, and they're gonna shoot you. And the only way to counter that is not obvious, not obvious at all, because you you press Shift and E, and that disarms them. And I don't know why you can disarm them when you can't punch them in a way that, that interrupts them, but okay. I guess. I guess that means we've got three attacks now that are very specific. Hmm. Who knows? Well, subscribe for more Steam Carousel. Yes, look at these. Look at these graphics that look good, but you might not want them. Who knows? It's a, it's a hard choice. It's Steam. It's... Who could tell if, if the game is good on Steam? Well, I think the user scores are usually pretty reliable. So, there you go. You got me complaining, you got users praising. Subscribe for more. <laughs>